Hello, this is Tomasz Lechoczynski speaking for Touch Pass, and welcome back to the fifth part of modeling of Ern. This time we will be painting him using model baking abilities and we will be painting him in beautiful Mari. So before we need to do a few things. So hide unnecessary meshes with flow, air and teeth and go to shader tree and delete matcap shader and also UV checker. So delete matcap shader. Okay. And this way we will have real time shaded hern. Okay, we need to clean up a few things. So turn off for now teeth and teeth bottom and gums materials from the shader tree. Go to render tab. And now we will prepare our render output. But as you can see, we got something bad going on. Uh, all our scoping data are gone, but it is not true, it's just not showing in previews, so we need to go to Mesh and go to Cut More Cut Subdivision and set Render Level to 5. And we need to wait a moment until Preview is updating. OK, and when it's done, as you can see, voila, we got our sculpted mesh. So, now we need to create a uh, ambient occlusion output. So select this final color output, right click on it and press duplicate and then on effect you can choose geometry, light, lightning, ambient occlusion. So now we can now set preview to show this output. Okay, and we get nice self-occluded character. So we will need this map uh, for painting in Murray. So rename it to something shorter like AO and this will do. And we need to set it occlusion raised to something higher to have a better shading. Okay, and now in model 801 you should have this baking UI kit installed. Uh, you can find it in, on your account on uh, the Foundry site. Uh, it is a great kit by Matt Bradley and you can uh, use it to bake any of uh, render outputs very easily using uh, UDIMS. So how we can go about it? So as you can see we got uh, We got seven UDIMs that Hern is con uh, as, as Hern is concerned, and we can choose hand base, that is mesh from the background, and output ambient occlusion, and we can turn off single UDIM only, and we will be uh, baking burst UDIMs. So this is one zero zero one and one zero zero two. As you can see, we can now choose output folder. So create one on your hard drive and we call it bakes. Okay. And we can overwrite existing files. And now we can just hit preview render at proxy resolution. So we want a final resolution to be one 1k image and we can render 25% of this image very quickly to see if this output is as we expected. So now we think it is good. So we can just press OK and get back to our baking UI palette and click bake. And we will just bake this file. OK, and now model will bake uh, those maps based on Udim values. So we got two cho chosen uh, UDIMs baked. Okay, as you can see, model is pretty, pretty quick with this kind of resolution that we have on baking. So, as you can see, we got nice ambient occlusion map. This will map 
uh, from multi-resolution mesh well there we go so I think that I need bigger map a 4k uh, for real painting in Mary so this is my final map model will be baking this for me and I don't think I want to let you watch this so we will see you in the future and then we will have our map bakes but as you can see model is quite quick with this kind of ambient illusion maps so as you can see um back back in uh, fast forward uh, uh, we got all idioms uh, baked as you can see model has named it properly based on Udemy uh, patches so now we can bake another map okay I have to save saved and we can bake another map but this time we need to create a new shader let's hide this baking UI and we need to go to schematic create new workspace we can call it shader go to this workspace and now we need to add a few things so and i think i should make more room for that so select base material and bring it to the schematic by pressing button there so now choose and as you can see we got notes folder and model will place notes over there so we need shader input ray type okay there is a new node in Ada one that will allow to bake model different procedural textures so we need to get one constant texture and another one constant texture okay as you can see they all living in node folder for our convenience so we can now have one more channel channel modifier modifier and it's under color color blend as name suggests we will be blending two colors together so for the first note change color to red for the second one change color to white and we need to plug this colors correctly so take from one node we can change names so let's name it white okay and this value select color and plug it to input color number one and change this constant name to red and take all its color information and plug to input color two so far nothing changed because this won't display anyhow and now plug output of this column band to base material diffuse color as you can see we can have blend amount changed and then you will decide is this color should be red or this color should be white and now we can just insert between them something to modify this color blade and as you can see i just added camera ray to that and now i can have to select base material and i'm sorry color blend and now set this to 100 and now it is very very important to see that uh, where there's a light hitting uh, from above there is a white color 
and where there will uh, and in the darkened area uh, the red color will be uh, visible so as you can see I have turned on light so as you can see on the bottom where the uh, dark where the shadow are where the, the shadow uh, is the shaded area uh, this node is presenting us with a uh, red color it is very important because this map will use we will be using this map uh, to mimic uh, sun tan uh, on our character so it will be uh, much darker skin when the light hits them and it will have a whiter skin when, where the shadowed area is. So now create one output sun burn. Okay. And we can just we can take this information and change the fuse count to 100 I have to, to have all the information be very very white okay as you can see this darkened area it's hidden from the light and it should stay dark okay turn off packing Y choose hern base choose sunburn it's normal color output but I uh, call it sunburn and take it to the texture and bake to multiple UDIMs. Let's see for now, just preview bake and see how it is done. And did we set it correctly? All those nodes. And as you can see, we got a red color uh, below its chin, and it where the lights almost never hits him. And this should be white. In this case, we will just turn it to black and we will invert this uh, map in Mari. So, call it black, change its color to black. Okay, and this way we will have a great mask uh, of light hitting his uh, skin. So, now we can just hit bake. As you can see, after baking, we should have something like this. It is very similar to uh, ambient occlusion map, but as you can see, the s bottom side of the hands is covered with black, and every part that is uh, hidden from the sun, it is black. So we got now shadows baked, baked in to this map, and we can now export our geometry to Mari. Okay. And I believe we can just see him like that. Okay. And we do we can go to model tab and now we need to set up parts for this character as you can see in lists and uh, parts we have default parts and uh, inherited from the base mesh so we need to clear all out so select them and delete them okay uh, parts are very uh, useful because Mari will read it once we export this character to the for painting and we can uh, hide parts of the mesh very quickly. So now uh, we need to select hands and antlers. So select with lasso selection. We can turn on symmetry on X so we won't be wasting time for selecting two sides of the character 
So now select only antlers. And we got it. So go to geometry. And we need to go to select, select assign selection set. But we need to go to geometry, polygon, and on set part. And let's call this part antlers. Okay, and we have now one part present. We can add material, so press M, and we can add this antlers. Okay, and we get one shader, and we can just okay, okay, deselect them, and we can hide them. Now, for hiding geometry, press uh, H on the keyboard. And now we need to select hands. So let's just select and shift up arrow to select more. And go to geometry and go to set part and call it hern arms. Okay. And you can press H to hide it. Okay. As you can see, we are on the legs. So select legs. Remember to select all polygons that are in the one uh, UV patch. So set part. And this is hern legs. Hern legs. Okay. And we can hide it. Press H to hide it. And now uh, we can select just the head. So we go to selection, select head, and select more. Okay, and just geometry and polygon set part, and call it hern head. Okay, and just hide this. With the rest polygon in the viewport, you can go to geometry, polygon, set part. As you remember, when you have nothing selected in model, you have everything selected. So these body polygons are tagged with uh, her body tag, as you can see. Now we got nice parts, and those parts will be recognized by Mari when you export. Uh, this character for painting. So we can change this name to Hern Antlers. Okay. That's about it for body of Hern. And we can now show clove and earring. So we can set parts for different parts of this meshes. So double click on stone and go to geometry, polygon, and set part and make it stone. Okay, now select strap, double click on it and go to geometry, polygon, set part and call it strap. Okay, and now for the earring, so double click on this and go to geometry polygon and set part and call it earring okay now we need to do something similar to as you can see we got easy maps and we should delay these this place is sim implicit because it was done with merging uh, cloth and earring. So just delete unnecessary UV maps. So you should 
stay with only one map created uh, in previous uh, parts of uh, Helm. This should be named texture. Because for now, uh, for now, Mari will accept only meshes with one UV set, so it's best to export only that. So select, save this uh, copy of this scene, save this scene, and save copy of this scene as Hell Freezed, because we will be freezing this character. And remember, uh, you should always do it on copy of the scene because freezing is very uh, resources hungry operation and just rename mesh to hell freezed, cloth to cloth freezed, and uh, earring to earring freezed. So uh, the meshes will be uh, very heavy. So now beware of that. And model we might be slow because those meshes will be very big in fact so go to freeze and freeze polygons earring is freezed now take a minute model to respond okay now we get all freezed select cloth Now it is now multi-resolution sculpt. So to the wireframe, as you can see, now we get fewer polygons. Go to geometry freeze. Okay, and as you can see, now we got very very dense mesh that try to show our sculpted data detail. And now the biggest. Uh, mesh, Hern, and Hern we just should hide uh, edges, okay, and now go to geometry and freeze, and you should be patient with that, this operation because freezing this kind of uh, big mesh with a high level of subdivision requires a lot of memory. As you can see, uh, in my case, I got 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, model is very responsive and quite fast with freezing hard. So, as you can see, now I am seeing mesh after freezing. So, give model a second. Export selected layers. Open to begin. Export. As separate files, you should click and press OK. Choose a destination. Now, in this case, it should be this kind of one. And press OK. Model will give you warnings about not um, be able to export any heavy texturing for this uh, obj files and you get this confirmation request on every mesh so be patient with that and of course the last saved and most time consuming will be him himself so as you can see it is not very long. We can just see how the model is saving, and I think it's quite re responsive so far. So it is very very dense mesh now. And now it is done, so we can 
open our main file that we sh that that you should have with my uh, parent and multi-resolution mesh and now we can select polygons by material so select endless invert selection and call this selection skin press m and call it skin add some color because it will be just a temporarily added material and we can change it later on so now we can go to endless head layer group and we can call it endless bake because now we will be baking from the shader tree so create another material and go to the render tab show preview and now let's make endless material for baking so so far it is gray and we should change that so We change it down. And select this material. It is gray now and we should change them so and now change diffuse color to something brown like so in my case okay and we need to add 0 0.61 and 0 0.47 specular amount set to 5 of course change diffuse roughness to 20% print out 40% roughness to 10 and we can change bump altitude to 1 millimeter displacement distance distance we should change to 0 and now add layer processing occlusion and the occlusion effect it is what we will be making so right now so change its type to convexity as you can see it has nice dark color and we can just change it to something more brownish so let's change to brown color second color should be brown but a little bit lighter and I believe the convexity is not the way to go so change occlusion type change higher uh, change occlusion rates to something higher and now we can change this occlusion type so select variance to 70% and variance scale to the one meter spread angle to 30 and max cavity angle to 40 and cut off edge to 23 so as you can see we get nice value for the shader go to processing textures and add noise and we can change also noise to something like more brown Okay, so add brown color. So, like this, go to texture locator 
and change this noise size to something lower so it will be much more dense okay and do it this will do all right and we can add layer image map and create new image that will be work baking our color information too so to change its name to endless color turn off visibility of that map and choose bake the texture uh, i can show you this so right click on it and choose bake the texture so now model will bake all color information from that map I need to abort this because uh, this is baking on wrong mediums. So we need to change Udemy file. So use click Udems is on. And now we can set this Udem. And we go to see which one is this. So go to select Hern. Go to vertex map. Select texture. And now model will show us select uh, texture in texture view so we need to change unit number and it will be 1011 okay and that's where the all geometry of endless is so once again select endless column bitmap right click on it and set bake the texture and as you can see now model will bake head and also the endless color as it did in my case you need to do it twice for each uh, time for one side of the head and we can delete this material from the material stack we don't need it anymore it is baked and now we can use this color as a start for painting texture of endless in Mari. So we can go 3D viewport and we can we can set rest of the materials for this character. So remember to set render level to 5, also in this window. Okay. We have to wait a second for preview to update. Okay, and now we get all information again. And now we can go to preview browser and we should light hand properly. So go to environment, selection auto, and choose outdoor sphere card 02 and load it in. So model will have to think for a while. Okay, now we got our herd on vacations. So we got nicely nicely late scene choose environment and set it intensity to something 1.5 and wait for preview to update so we can rename it so environment light and press ok and turn off visible to camera so duplicate this environment, turn on visible to camera, set, set visibility of the map to zero and choose constant color for the background and change it to black. So we get nice 
HDRI light environment and we can now change its name environment cam so this way we'll be we will know that is the camera environment so now we can just select sky turn off directional light go to the light properties as you can see we got nice very nice uh, light on this character so go to Textualize and choose directional light, the environment light, and radial light existence. Easy pants set to one, maybe two. Spread angle should be at ten, and we can now. Let's rotate this to see how it looks. So, so far so good. And go for the entrance material and take conserve energy. Also in skin material, take conserve energy. This way we will know is this light are very bright or just right. So I believe for light developing it will be almost done so for the skin group selected go to custom materials and choose skin material and this is special sh shader in model 801 uh, that will mimic human skin so be aware of that that is very resources hungry so as you can see we got oil layer and we got epidermis and we got upper dermal scattering and lower dermal scattering so it has all the skin layers that human has and this way we got nice subsurface scattering uh, happening all over our character we can turn off for now and we will be creating uh, all the maps necessary to drive all those parameters correctly so, as you can see, we got everything in place. And we can just select earring and press M and call it Earring. We should split our character to logical modulates. So as you can see we got nice water resolution mesh. So all good. And change it render level also to five. This way we will not lose details on this area. Okay. And we should take care of the stone. So select this and call it stone material. Okay. And next, change base material to something like beige and call it strap and should be something uh, brown, take conserve energy. As you can see in preview, now preview updates and this brown should be darker. Okay, so we got my ba now basic material set and we can add one last final material. It's uh, the cloth material. So select all polygons by double clicking and change this name to cloth and set. Okay. And 
then you can just tweak this material a little bit so it will be uh, gray color and we get basic breakdown of material groups ready so go for the camera view and let me see if properly so we got nice issue with the legs we should just select all polygons that will make hooves so select those select those and shift up arrow to select more and we get the now hooves on the back side and we should do the same for the front side of the hooves so select them and go and we need to select all all those polygons corresponding to this part of the hand and even few polygons extra and now we can assign another material so press m and call it hoof oops change its color to something dark more brownish and press ok and this way we will have hooves ready okay and ladies and gentlemen and I believe we got our character ready for painting in Mari so as you can see the shaded tree is split to logical materials and now we can just play along with the skin shader so join me next time when we'll be painting this character in Mari and I believe we can change just changes uh, its entrance to something brown so see you next time and let's go for painting thank you